Back in 2009, I fell in love with my first online shooter, Modern Warfare 2. Not that one, that one. And it wasn't just me either. The game would go on to sell 8 million copies in just the first month and later going on to sell at least 23 million by 2013. The game had such a unique charm to it that people had never really experienced before, except with maybe its own prequel, COD 4 Modern Warfare. In my opinion, what made the game so special was just how chaotic it felt. It felt like the devs wrote down everything that seemed like it could be fun and just threw it into the game. You had throwing knives, noob tubes, overpowered weapons, chopper gunners, AC-130s, and even a goddamn nuke at the end of the game when you called it in. Chaotic freedom, I guess you could call it. There was a seemingly infinite number of ways to have fun in the game. Players even developed their own version of the game later on called IW4X, which made the game even more chaotic, adding tons of mods ranging from weapons and maps to like quality of life features and better settings. Unfortunately, IW4X was eventually shut down by Activision, which actually kind of brings me to the point of this video. Rather than progressing the genre and working with the devs to continue making something that the community obviously loved, IW4X Forex was shut down in fear of someone else profiting off of their IP. This type of sentiment I believe is what has played gaming more and more over the years. Publishers caring way too much about profit and political correctness and not letting the devs do what they want, essentially preventing them from making the best game that they can. Although games do have much higher standards now than they did back in 2009, it is still pretty obvious that something has changed in the market. For example, I know a lot of people watching this video because it's Battlebit also know about Battlefield 2042. Shortly after the launch, we heard horror stories from devs describing the development process and how EA forced them to completely change the direction of the game multiple times because battle royales were popular at the time. So guess we gotta make one. So we got <laughs> so we got Hazard Zone, which much like Battlefield 5's Firestorm, died immediately on launch. They were forced to pretty much scrap the entire project and launch an unfinished game. But what happens when you don't have a publisher? Well, that's where indie games come in. Small dev teams that have nothing to focus on besides making a good game, usually just out of passion, except they don't have that big budget the AAA studios get. And a lot of times these indie studios have to make some pretty significant sacrifices to make the game that they want. So we made a really tough and probably at the time seemed really foolish decision. I sold my house and just basically went all in and, and funded what we were doing, which is not something I would recommend anyone else do. But that's the thing, indie devs over the last few years have really been our only access to that feeling that we got from older shooters, that chaotic freedom that I'm talking about. And that's where these guys come in. I don't know how they were able to do it, but Battlebit feels like a triple A game with no restrictions. Because they lack a publisher and a lot of devs to develop the game, it took the devs many, many hours of blood, sweat, and tears to develop Battlebit, and seemingly almost zero of those hours went into graphics. In my last video, I said, it's a small indie game that focuses on everything besides the graphics. So let's talk about that. First off, it seems like every quality of life feature that most games have lacked in over the years, Battlebit just put all of it into the game. Even simple things like the server browser having an auto refresh feature that allows you to easily see when a server has an available slot so you don't have to wait in a queue. And even if you don't want to use a server browser, finding a match is super easy with the main screen having three options for server sizes and it's just one click of a button. The devs also have a zero tolerance policy towards cheaters, which I've heard has actually had some misfires, but as long as they have an appeal system that actually works, I'm okay with that. I haven't seen a single cheater in this game yet. When it comes to the gameplay, holy sh they have everything. Tons of weapons right off launch, great customization, great game mechanics, fluid movement that's so fun to abuse. I've played a lot of Battlefield 4 in my life, which actually has a very similar movement style, where you can air strafe by simply holding W, jumping, and then turning with your mouse. Objects are very easily mountable, making for fun, creative flank routes and different spots you can get into. Now, I'm not a huge fan of how tanky some of the armor is, but overall, gunfights are very satisfying and chaotic as hell. Meanwhile, the game also doesn't take itself too seriously because I mean, come on, the characters look like this. How can you get mad at a game like this? I guess my whole point in this video is that publishers need to learn to stay the hell out of the way of devs. And in some cases, if you have a big enough or hardworking enough dev team, you don't even need publishers anymore. With how much promotion that YouTubers and Twitch streamers give games nowadays, it's hard to really find a necessity in publishers like EA or Activision. And for God's sakes, there's a piece of equipment in the game that I can't even say the full name of without getting demonetized. Yeah, good luck getting EA to approve that one. <laughs>
I am in a safe place if you lay down. If you lay down, you're totally fine. Yeah, yeah. Unless we get <laughs> naded. Unless we get naded. Totally fine. <laughs> Ooh, see? UMP, man, holy. I was shooting a man, hold on. I know, I know, you were shooting a man, he's dead. He is dead. Damn, he took a lot of bullets. Fuck, oh my god! Jesus. Not that big of a deal. Oh, how many was that? I guess that was fourth and aid. Yeah, fourth and aid. That was a juicy <laughs> hit marker sound.
Damn. Let's go. What is this front lines bullshit, dude? Great. Just have to die because I'm in the enemy territory. Oh, I lived. Never mind. Never mind. Back again to not being my territory. <laughs> what the hell? I don't want to die. Oh, there we go. Look out behind you! I was in menu. Where are your teammates? Where are your friends hiding? From where? I don't understand why everybody tries oh, to be a sniper. Let's go!